This is literally the most excited I have been to make a video for years. Pardon my French, but I am, I am positively freaking stoked. The skin is literally vibrating off of my body and my soul is twerking on the ceiling. I know, I'm being dramatic, but what's shaking? My name's Cam, welcome back to another video. Today I'm finally doing the cover reveal for my psychological horror novel. It's coming out in January, so I also have a book trailer and a release date. So yeah, today's a pretty big day for me. Hell, I might not even cry in the shower today, but I don't wanna to get too ahead of myself. Now I know some of you are already moving the mouse towards that red bar below me so that you can scrub ahead and just see the cover and then dip. And you know what, it's cool, I get it. However, if you could just spare me just a few minutes of watch time so that I can talk about the shit show that writing this book has been, that would be pretty rad as well. I would even go so far as to say that would be some real King Kong ding dong energy. So I wrote a book called Welcome to Sen. It's a psychological horror and it's about 80,000 words. A middle-aged man who is at rock bottom in his life finds himself trapped in his apartment building by a violent storm. Before long, he realizes that he's not alone there. The halls and the rooms are filled with horrors and buried memories. As far as inspiration goes, I can't really pinpoint the moment that the idea for this story crossed my mind. It was maybe about a year and a half to two years ago when I first I uh, scribbled some notes in an old notepad. The idea obviously evolved a lot since then, and it's evolved a lot since I talked about it in old videos. It was changing pretty much up until a week before I actually finished it. I can't say if the story is the best that it could have possibly been, but I can at the very least say that I did my best. As someone who has never been entirely confident in my writing, like heaps of people, I'm sure, it is both awesome and <laughs> terrifying to believe that this is the best writing I've ever done. Because if I'm wrong and it sucks, that's gonna be a really hard pill to swallow. But uh, that's life, that's how it is. That's how it always is when you put your artwork out into the world, when you put your writing out there. Some people might love it, some people might hate it. That's just how it is, and that's fine. With that said, and I hope I can say this without sounding too pretentious or like my head is cemented inside my own asshole, but I really am proud of this book. It has been a lot of hard work, a lot of time spent on my end, a lot of money too, if I'm being completely honest. I don't even want to know what the total figure is. Writing a fantasy series back in the day was uh, pretty tough, don't get me wrong, but writing a psychological horror is so emotionally draining and taxing. I really underestimated uh, kind of the mental toll of writing a story like this. And I was really scared for a while there that I couldn't finish it. I came close to binning it because I really did think a few times that maybe I just wasn't good enough to tell that story. I had to go to some pretty uh, dark places with the character Joseph, um, some that felt pretty personal. Uh, I really just hope the story entertains people, to be honest. I, I don't care all that much about how many copies I sell. I just hope you guys like it. Not... <laughs> Not that you should feel like you're obligated to. I wanna make that clear. Anyway, I'm sure you want me to shut up now and just get to the goods, um, but before I show you the official book cover for Welcome Descent, I wanna show you what the cover might have been. There's been a few different designs for the book cover and I wanna show you what the runner up was. To be clear, uh, this isn't the final product of what it would have been, this is just a test design with stock images and placeholders. Anyway, uh, that's it. For the people joining us now who have just skipped to this part in the video, this isn't the official cover for Welcome Descent. This is just what it uh, almost was. I ended up going in a bit of a different direction, but had I chosen this one, it would have been uh, you know, redone professionally, made a bit more original. That tagline there, the only way out is down. That's actually from As Above, So Below. Like I said, it's just a placeholder. Although, that would have been a perfect tagline for this story. Anyway, uh, that's the runner up. Let me show you the official cover. <sighs> I've seen it like a hundred times and it's still just, it's surreal. This is a pre-recorded video and I'm still nervous to show you. <laughs> there it is. That's the cover for Welcome Descent. There she is in all her glory. I fucking love this cover, my guy. I've barely been able to stop smiling since I got it. So the tagline is, enjoy the climb, beware the fall. Let me know if that uh, sounds ominous enough or let me know if it intrigues you. So the graphic on here was my idea and I had a professional artist 
uh, kind of draw it up for me. I wanted it to be a few things. Uh, first off, I wanted the graphic to look kind of like a Rorschach test, otherwise known as the ink blot test, basically a test uh, used to analyze a person's perception or personality. I just think that fits perfectly with the story itself. And secondly, what I like about this graphic is that it looks like the man here, Joseph, he looks like he's kind of being like pulled in and, and crushed and he's trying to claw his way out. It's kind of like he's, you know, fighting his way out of darkness, which is obviously a big theme of the story itself. I know that sounds super pretentious when, when I explain it. I'm sorry. I'm just really excited. So there is the spine and there is the back. This is the paperback. There is a hardcover as well, which I'm about to show you, but um, this is the paperback. It's about 400 pages. And you might notice the size looks a little bit odd. This book is actually a 4.25 by seven inch trim, which used to be really common back in the day, but it's quite rare now. Usually nothing goes smaller than five by eight anymore. And the reason I wanted my book to be this size is because I wanted it to feel like one of the old uh, vintage horrors, the trade paperbacks. I always liked how they felt in your hands, like they were kind of snug. So as far as sizing goes, that was a personal choice on my end, and I think it turned out great. I love it. Alrighty, and here is the hardcover. Obviously a lot bigger, this is a 6x9. Pretty much uh, the exact same design as well. Translates pretty well from paperback to hardcover, I would say. I'm gonna go ahead and read the back for you. All it takes is one bad week. In just seven days, Joseph Ridley lost everything. His beautiful wife, gone. His fast cars, gone. Even the expensive suits, they're all gone now. To Joe, life's a bitch, and it hates him the most. Now there's a storm on the horizon, a storm unlike any other. Long buried memories and voices from the dark are at the door. Joseph is about to find out that rock bottom is not the furthest a man can fall. The storm? has arrived. There's an about the author on the back, although I think I'm getting a better uh, author picture before it comes out. And there is a content warning on the front flap as well, which actually I think I might read out for you now, just so you know. Content warning. Please be aware that this book contains strong adult themes, including but not limited to graphic and sexual violence, self-harm, alcoholism, and hateful language. While I feel these things are necessary in the context of the story, it's important to me that my readers understand what they're in for. Signed, Cam Wolf. So, <laughs> that's the book cover. Uh, let me know what you think. I am really, really happy with how it turned out. I, I didn't know how the color palette would um, end up looking. I was a little bit worried. I knew that I wanted a bit of a stark, kind of blunt, black and white and red, uh, sharp contrast kind of color palette. I thought it would be a real pain to make that work, and in a few ways it was, um, but in the end it ended up exceeding my expectations, so I can't complain. Now, uh, book trailer and release date. The release date is actually in the book trailer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you now anyway. Welcome Descent will be officially released on January 25th. So that's about three months from now, and while that might seem like quite a long time, it also gives me plenty of time to do some fun things in the interim. I can do heaps of promotional stuff, I can do arcs, I can do giveaways, a whole bunch of stuff. You name it. And don't worry, let me be clear, my my channel is not about to become a giant billboard for this book. I'll just be throwing some stuff in here and there for anyone who's interested. As for the book trailer, I will be leaving a link in the description, I will be leaving a card up here or you can just search for Welcome Descent book trailer on YouTube and it should come up. I've had to upload it on my horror channel, uh, Wolf's Inferno, for some pretty stupid marketing reasons. Basically, down the line, I'm going to be using the book trailer as paid promotion, so it's just a whole lot easier for me to just keep it separate for now. I think it's pretty damn creepy as far as book trailers go, but <laughs> do you want to know what the coolest thing is? And <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I'm not sure if anyone else on AuthorTube has done this for a book release. Maybe they have, but I just think it's the coolest. I had an original theme song composed for the book. I'm not kidding. I paid an actual music composer to make a song. It's called Joseph's Storm, and it's awesome. It's in the book trailer, but I'm also going to upload it separately on that horror channel, Wolf's Inferno, for you to listen to in full if you want. So that's about it. That's all the release info for Welcome Descent. I am terrified of it officially being out, but I'm also really excited. Uh, 
Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you're feeling about all of this. I know I said this in my last video, but um, the amount of love and support that I've been getting recently for this book has just, it's been insane. It's kind of blown me away, to be honest. It is incredibly humbling, and I just want you guys to know that I see it all. I really appreciate it, and it means the world to me. So thank you. Uh, have a good one, guys. Catch ya.